Welcome property viewers to another property feature. Guess what? This is one of my favorites. Why? It's in my home parish, St. Mary, just five minutes drive from Ocherios in laid back Tower Isle, St. Mary. This area is very, it's like a resort feel. There are a few resort complexes close by and in walking distance are attractions. There's a beach five minutes down the road it used to be the bamboo beach which is being renovated now i'm reliably told that it's going to be an even nicer beach an even nicer beach than what was there before and then just east of here is also another beach in rio nuevo which you can enjoy and there are other beaches in Arakabesa, which is another 10 minutes drive going east. And of course, Ocherios has its beaches too. So you're not short of attractions if you decide to buy a unit here. On offer at Whispering Seas is this two bedroom, two bathroom unit. Very airy and tastefully designed and decorated. And this unit is being offered for sale, fully furnished. So come with me as we enter this unit. Before we go in, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Property viewers, we're heading to the major selling point of this unit. And where is my favorite hangout spot? The seafront facing patio. We couldn't ask for a better view than this. The sea, clear skies, well manicured lawns, and two swimming pools, a salt water, fresh water a gazebo which is right on the edge of the water and you can actually swim at the front it's not a beach but there i actually saw somebody snorkeling just now not to mention the boats going by and the space is very generous it has one table with a four seater but it can actually hold more seats than this great place for entertaining all right, so this open concept plan here, as you can see, it's very spacious, very airy, a lot of natural light. And most importantly for me, this unit is being sold, fully furnished, and it's very tastefully decorated. Our first stop is our primary bedroom. Again, this bedroom has an amazing sea view. Each bedroom also has an inverter air conditioning unit and a ceiling fan. Ample closet space is here. And the bathroom is just amazing. Double face basins. And the primary bathroom, which is this one, actually has a shower stall. Whereas the secondary bedroom, we'll see a little later, carries a bathtub. So it gives you a good option 
especially if you have children and want to use the bathtub. The, the living dining area also comes with two ceiling fans and an inverter unit, AC unit. This unit also has a lot of storage space and the owner actually has it for short term rental. So an added feature is they have put locks on them for security reasons. So I guess their linen and stuff is locked away here. The second bathroom, as I mentioned before, has a bathtub and again, very tastefully designed and decorated. Vessel sink for the face basin. And the secondary bedroom is also a generous size. It holds two twin beds. That's just by choice of this owner, but you could easily fit a king or a queen bed here. And again, ceiling fan and inverter AC unit. And again, property viewers, this unit is being sold fully furnished, including appliances. So each bedroom also has a flat screen TV. Next up is our kitchen. But I, I'll mention again, we have a utility closet here. You can store your brooms, mops, etc. And another closet here, which is locked, where maybe excess supplies are stored. This unit also has an in-unit laundry, stackable washer and dryer, which are beyond these doors. And the kitchen. spacious and functional. <laughs> the design offers this open concept where you can be cooking while entertaining and conversing with your guests. So that concludes our interior tour of this unit. Remember to let me know if you have any questions. The unit is being sold for 549,000 US, which is approximately 83 million Jamaican dollars, and it's negotiable. Our next stop is outside, where I'll highlight the common areas. So this property, which when I get to those areas, I'll highlight them, but it offers a tennis court, a staff quarters, in case you have a helper or a gardener who wants to overnight, there's a communal area, which is a good use of space below the tennis courts. It has two swimming pools, as I mentioned before, a salt water and a fresh water. Um, oh, a meeting and a gym, a meeting room and a gym. So we'll stop there next. So welcome to the clubhouse, which features a little gym here. Two bathrooms. kitchen so if you wanted to entertain 
and had more people than your actual unit can accommodate, you could book this for that occasion. And it's also used to facilitate the strata, strata meetings and any other community events. It also has an outdoor space which can facilitate chairs and tables as well. We're going to the front of the property which features the the best views outside of the unit itself. There's an infinity edge freshwater pool here, which again offers amazing views of the sea. And you get a very good perspective of the entire property here, the 32 units, the layout on four blocks. And the unit that's being offered for sale is on this second block here, which is the B block and it's on the first floor so we count ground and then first floor so that unit on the end on the right is the one we were at this is the salt water pool which is very natural very good for rejuvenation um, because it has no chemicals or anything, just the natural seawater. So it's like enjoying the beach and the seawater in a confined space. The resort town of Tor Isle features a um, couple store aisle if you look to the far right and um, the camera may not pick it up but that's the famous island by couple store aisle so the views from whispering seas are very expansive in fact i'm seeing as far east as arakabesa So lots of outdoor space, if you have children that want to run around, just ensure that they can swim or they're at least supervised while they're running around. And many areas that afford privacy, you can easily escape to your corner of the property that suits you the best. This is a great feature of this property, excellent use of space. I, I, I alluded to it earlier, the tennis courts are on top and below that is the management office of the complex. So they actually have a full-time manager that works at least five days a week. So if you want it to be in the pool of rentals, that's an option or you can manage the rental of your unit on your own. Um, and then, as I'd mentioned before, there, are staff, there is staff accommodation underneath the tennis courts. They also have 24-hour security and a standby generator that powers the common areas and each apartment has a unit, an outlet that is connected to it. So if you have a main appliance that you can't do without during a power cut which 
I'll admit, our power cuts in Jamaica are very infrequent nowadays, but if you had like a refrigerator that you wanted to connect, you at least have two plugs, or a plug with two sockets that you can connect to the standby generator, which is a great feature. The complex also has an elevator, um, you know, for those who don't necessarily want to take the stairs. And as I had mentioned before, this resort town of Tower Isle features the newly renovated Harmony Hall Art Gallery. It, it has the Summer House restaurant, which has a great Sunday brunch, and um, Butcher Block Gourmet store, and it also has a resort shop there. So that's a great feature, actually just walking distance, literally across the road from here. So that's an entertainment option and a dining option as well. And then just almost across the road in the opposite direction is what used to be the Tuscanini Italian restaurant. It's now rebranded, don't quite remember the name of it. I think it's called PG's. And there are a couple of other Jamaican restaurants along this corridor. So, even if you did not drive and wanted to take a stroll, there are many dining options. There's also a supermarket within walking distance. So, Tower Isle, very laid back, but has all the amenities that you could ask for on a weekend getaway, a holiday, or even if it's your permanent home. And as I'd mentioned before, Ocherios is just a stone's, well, five to ten minutes drive um, away, and it has all the conveniences that you could ask for. The beach that whose name escaped me earlier is actually Sugarpot, which is another five minute drive going east. It's by Rio Nuevo. And they charge I think 500 per person. It's a very nice beach and they also have a restaurant there. So all the options you could ask for as a vacationer are right within the vicinity of Tower Isle. So Thanks for being with me on another property feature and remember to like, share, subscribe to this channel. And thanks again to the wonderful team of Kedia and Neville for hosting me again. Thank you.